Up next, the Bucks taking on the Hornets. For Milwaukee, losing seven out of their last ten games has left a bad taste in their mouths. But tonight represents a new beginning, and they want to taste victory once again. Hornets, Bucks, and we'll be right back for the tip-off. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at the Hornets, they're still struggling, trying to string something together, getting a lot of wins. The competition, though, is so tough. And, of course, the Bucks. They're looking to turn it around down at the bottom of the conference now. And I think for Milwaukee, they haven't looked anything like the team we thought they'd be this year. Still such a long way to go. They could be in line for a long, tumultuous season. Yeah, that's the sense you get, isn't it? I mean, the important thing is that they don't panic here. Stick to the basics and work out of this slump without trying to do too much at one time. Now, the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. The post pair, the longtime duel of Ender Kumbo and Lopez. Jackson is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Prince in at the three. And for the Hornets, the guard spots filled in by Ball and Miller. Then it's Taj Gibson. Then there's Josh Green. And it's Salon in at the four. Another NBA season, Clark, upon us. Uh, what's the biggest change you've seen since you played? Well, I think a couple of things. Actually, I would consider these a tie. The ball handling and the three-point shooting of seven-foot guys. And then lastly, maybe the matchup zones defensively are the biggest changes for me. So the Bucks, their last game, a win against Detroit. Miller, the pass to ball. And here is Green. And he finishes nicer on the way. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game. Getting the ball inside early. Lillard outside. There's the drive. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Defense pulls out every stop imaginable, but with Lillard, he just simply beats him. And Special K, as good as Damian Lillard can be throughout a game, he definitely takes it up a notch in crunch time. Couldn't agree with you more, Kevin. He's one of those guys that certainly seems to rise to the occasion and relish in the clutch moments. And his range is in the gym like. I mean, 30 feet away, 35 feet away, he shoots it the same as if it's a mid range jumper. Here's Salon. And out of the Kumbo with the block. The reach, the athleticism, the timing, no surprise, Giannis swatted that one away. Outside for Jackson. Barry's the long range jumper. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. For the Hornets, they come into this one following a loss to Orlando. Gibson looking it over. Pass to Salon. To the wing right side. Miller with a wide open look. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Asserting himself at the arc now. The rookie Miller with the answer. Bucks have gone two for four from the field so far today. Lillard finds Lopez. Outside for Jackson. Prince against Green. Prince the pass to Lillard. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Hey, Ball has tremendous confidence, oozing with confidence. He feels like he can cross up anybody defending. Clark with the Hornets. They were hit with injuries as hard as any team Harden. in the NBA in the 23-24 season. Kevin, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, they were so unfortunate in that regard. And it's not anything you can control. And it made it almost impossible for them to have a productive season because of those injuries. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Kevin, thanks. The Bucks used their size defensively to great impact. Coach Doc Rivers said, we're not fast, we're long. So we get our fingertips on a lot of balls, and that slows fast teams down. 
Switching keeps guys in front of you, and the more size we can put in front of people, the better we can be. Kevin? EA, you follow this league for a long time. That sounds like a pretty good game plan. Five to shoot. The train. Man can hit. The Bucks trail. Pass to Lillard. Let's it go from deep. Bangs home the trifecta. Lillard's got five. Tell you what, doesn't matter whether he's on the move or standing still. Leonard is a flat-out laser shooter. Man passes to Miller. Here's Man, covered by Lillard. From outside the arc, Man can hit. Trent with it. Nothing on the board. Lillard, right side. And stolen by Miller. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one so far. Bucks lead by one. We'll be back shortly live from Spectrum Center. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Well, when you control the glass, and you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. Milwaukee in the lead. They've got Trey Mann. Also, Seth Curry out there. Martin is out there with Williams. And it's Zawan in a power forward. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. And so Milwaukee again turning it over. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. Martin dishes to Curry. Outside for Martin. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Man gets the bucket. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. And so onto the Kumba will bring it up for the Bucks. They trail by one. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Yeah, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Challenged shots and really protected the rim. Well, I tell you what, I think you got to really appreciate the grit. Getting dirty, staying engaged. That's really what defense is all about. Man with it, defended by Trent. Williams, a screen on Trent. Here's Man, And it's Connaughton with the rebound. On offense here, the Bucks. following this one, they get to host the Rockets. That'll be the first of four played at home for them. And it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. And the Hornets making a change here. Diabate's checked in. The Bucs also changing it up. Lopez comes in for Portis. And it's Jackson in for Pat Connington. Trent drilled from 11 yeah, feet out. Clark, obviously, this is a results league for head coaches. And we're always going to see lots of changes at that position. I think you're exactly right. I don't necessarily agree with it all the time. I would like to see owners and general managers and decision makers be a little more patient, give coaches a little more runway. But... We know it's a results-oriented league, and oftentimes the reality is that it's easier to change one coach than it is perhaps to change a handful of players on a roster that's not performing. Boy, the added work in the weight room for Giannis coming into play there. I mean, you got to send an army to try to stop this guy. And timeout is called by Charles Lee. He's made the decision. He wants to huddle up with this guy. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Hornets. Ball comes in for Martin. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Damian Lillard comes in for DeLon Wright. Now here's Curry. Still yet to score. Fires for three. Hits it from three-point range. At the arc, Curry's so consistent. I mean, he'll knock it down every chance he gets from there. And Greg, two seasons ago, the Bucks ranked first in defensive rating. Last season, they dropped down to number 19. Yeah, shifting defensive schemes 
coaching changes, also swapping Drew Holiday for Damian Lillard. But they can and should be better than 19. Now, ball. After the miss, three from Damian Lillard. Over Jackson. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got the lead up to two now for the Hornets. Well, I tell you, what separates Ball from a lot of players his age is that his footwork is advanced. He's got a, almost a Ph.D. in footwork. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Kevin? Brooke Lopez started off, of course, as a post scorer, but he's completely reshaped his game over time, becoming a three-point threat and a defensive stopper. He said, I tried to focus more on being a pillar. There's Giannis, look out below! And Anacumpo is so long, I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. Ball feeling it out of it. Pass to man. Williams, a screen on Jackson. And with the bounce pass. Antetokounmpo with the ball. Now guarded by Gibson. Antetokounmpo with the finish. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Alert against Paul. 12 seconds left in the first half. Shot clock at six. From deep. The shot, no good. So that'll be it for the first half. A fairly even battle underway in this one. The Bucks on top, leading by four. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much with Doc Rivers. Doc, a back-and-forth affair so far. How do you pick it up in the second half? Well, they were just a more physical team. I mean, they blew up all our actions. They got all the 50-50 balls. We got back in the game because we started doing it back at them, so that's important. We'll see if you can keep that up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Thanks for joining us. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks in a tight ball game at the end of the half. And guys, I want to talk for a sec about the talent level in this league. In fact, I'd say it's never been better. You sure about that, Ernie? I sense Shaq getting restless over there. Hey, 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 my, my mistake, big fella. Someone put crazy talk on the teleprompter. I was just, you know, going along with it for giggles. <laughs> I'm not giggling, Ernie. Come on, try it. Come on. Come on. I bet I can make you giggle. I'm tickling, Ernie. I'm tickling. I don't want to wear a And we look now at the Milwaukee Bucks. We got a battle out there after one half of play. I like what they're doing. Playing with physicality, they've worked hard to gain the edge in areas like rebound. Yeah, that's the difference in the game. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. In recent seasons, the Charlotte Hornets Clark have been very active in the trade market. Well, it seems like they're always wheeling and dealing. I mean, they're on the quest for that perfect fit lineup, moving pieces around, trying to 
find the right recipe for success. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. The post pair, the longtime duel of Anacumbo and Lopez. Damian Lillard out there with Jackson, and it's Prince in at the small forward. Free throw good from Lillard. Well, Greg, it took 40 years, but the Bucks finally won their second NBA title back in 2021. Yeah, and Kareem leading that 71 squad. Giannis was the man in 2021, averaging 35 and 13 during the finals, closing out the Suns with that 50 piece in game six. And he can't hit the second. You know, the quickness, the instincts, the aggression. Um, Lillard capable of really taking over almost any time he wants to. Ball against Lillard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Clark, the 2021 Rookie of the Year, LaMelo Ball. And the only thing holding him back now is his health. It certainly is, and it's unfortunate because he's a talented, fun-to-watch player. He's already missed a bunch of games early in his career, but he is the total package as a point guard now. Great length at 6'7", and I still think he has MVP potential. It's a matter of can he stay on the floor. He's off on the first. Well, I tell you, I like Ball's mental makeup for such a young guy. Plays with patience and the wisdom of a 10-year vet, and... He produces in every area. He hits the second from the line. You know, we all know about the flair and sizzle to the metal ball's game. The highlight reel plays, all of that is great, but I also like the fact that he's got great length at the point guard position, which presents a lot of problems at both ends. Lopez sets a screen for Anadokounmpo. Shoots from 12. The Hornets pull it in. Green deciding where to go with it. Pass to Miller. Here's Ball. Sinks that one from the post. Ball's got seven. This is what height in the backcourt gives you. Ball can get almost anything he wants in there because of that size. Now here's Lillard. He has six. A shot by out of the Kumbo. Nobody around. No good from outside. Green to pass the ball. Here's Gibson. Gibson with the screen on Prince. Back to Gibson. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Impressive agility in these pick and roll sets. It's hard to get out of that screen really quickly. Gibson has a nice feel for where to roll to. And it's good. Two points. Eight points for him. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And so it's Charles Lee calling timeout. He wants to check in with his team and regroup.
bench checked in for Torian Prince. And here's a look at some numbers for Damian Lillard. And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I know he hadn't lost his confidence, and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Gibson against Lopez. And Gibson kicks the ball. Free throw line jump shot. Onto the Kumbo grabs the miss. Onto the Kumbo's got four rebounds now tonight. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Gibson with the screen on Adetokounmpo. Here's Miller. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Fred passes to Giannis. And Adetokounmpo with the jam. The sheer power of Adetokounmpo goes up and throws it down hard. That is impressive. You know, you were talking about Giannis. He can put up 30 a game without taking many shots from the perimeter. That's a tall order these days, especially because he gets doubled every single time. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Willard. The rebound by Gibson. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Ball against Lillard. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Ball. Really important for Ball to maintain his poise around the basket. That's what allows him to take a bump like that and still convert. Lopez outside. Trent against him. Trent can't hit. Outside ball. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. It's on Damian Lillard. The Hornets have shot two free throws and they're one of two so far. No good on the free throw. And it's tied up with that one. And you can see that even though he ties the game up, disappointed he couldn't give him the lead. With one on the clock, and oh, he hits the buzzer beater! Oh, and that's a monster shot to close out the third, and the lead is theirs heading into the final quarter. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Bucks lead by two. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. They've got Curry. Martin is out there with Williams. Then it's Trey Mann. And it's Diabate in its center. So that's the Hornets' five. The Buck shooting has been great up over 50%. In fact, 52%. Right, the pass to Connaughton. Pass to Trent. Let's it go with a three. 
buries it from three-point range. And the Bucks lead by three. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Williams with the ball. It's Martin on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's Mann. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Right outside. And there's the call on Cody Martin. That is his first foul of the game. And we've got a timeout called by Doc Rivers. He's very aware of the timing here and the significance. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Torian Prince comes in for Pat Connaughton. Jackson, he's checked in for Gary Trent. And Lillard subbed in for Wright. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. Now, his perspective was to play like we're behind. He said, that's the energy we need right now. We haven't won anything yet. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Here's Lillard, makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. Watch out now, Lillard is smoking and looking to score every time he touches it. Lillard against Ball. And Ball slams it in. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Yeah, he just flat out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. 11 feet away, and the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. And it's now only a one-point Milwaukee lead. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Right wing. Lopez inside. Working on Gibson. Kicks it out to Lillard. Jackson passes to Prince. Takes a three. Knocks down the three ball. Prince has got himself on the board with three there. There you have it. Prince stepping up big time. This guy played all four years in college, and you see evidence of that confidence and maturity there. Jackson against Miller. Jackson misses. Hornets trail by four. Green kicks the ball. Pass to Gibson. Stolen by Jackson. Lillard with it. Now guarded by Ball. Alert against Ball. Kicks it out to Prince. And another three for Milwaukee. Yeah, you know, Prince is always doing a nice job working to get open. And, and that's the reward you get for staying active, keeping yourself moving. An open look on the jump shot there. Ball, no good. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. 
Ante Takumbo passes to Jackson. To the paint. And Ball comes to help. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. He'll have a jump ball. Bucket two. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Lillard surveying the D. So it's Milwaukee picking up the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks very much. Giannis, a dominant performance. What is the level that this team is playing at? It's amazing, man. I think uh, the whole group, the whole team played hard. The whole team was ready. Everybody stepped up. And, you know, this is what makes uh, the average uh, team from a great team or a good team. I know you guys are looking for great and not good. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks, for David Aldridge.